uh, if you have this kind of uh, uh, violin and rosin this rosin is uh, is brand new and the uh, coated part at the top is uh, so difficult to remove so you need to scratch it first with the screw uh, so you just need to scratch it the, the top not so hard because you, you might break the rosin and uh, just expose the upper layer okay the upper layer so that if you do the bow, bowing um, uh, rosin uh, loading uh, like using a friction you must hold your thumb at the metal part you see the metal part over there uh, you need to cover it with your thumb in between so if you did not do that you might break easily the rosin so the thumb will protect the rosin preventing it to be break so make sure you screw your bow a, li a little bit tightened so that uh, it can uh, uh, the strength of the bow can use its friction okay so don't touch the hair of course because our fingers uh, have sweat and oil or some dirt that can uh, stick to the bow hair so at the top you don't need to put a, your thumb there uh, it's very safe because the edge of that is uh, overlapping the the tip of the bow not okay so it has no metal in short uh, just a little pair but be careful always okay so uh, so make sure you spread the the rosin powder all throughout the bow if it is new but if you already are used if you're already using the violin oftenly no need to use your or load more often your bow so this time is a uh, you need to uh, pour out the powder by uh, using a friction technique okay so this is the part i used to extract all the powder all throughout the bow hair so that all the area of the bow hair have the rosin content the powder so be careful not to inhale or put it in your eyes the powder uh, taste it okay so this is dangerous okay, so this time i'm using the wide uh, just uh, to grab the the rosin you can you know, just stable stabilize your left hand the bow will just move so once again protect the rosin at the bottom or the frag metal okay so i just pour out it over there so a little crumbs of uh, rosin you can see there just to have a nice crisp sound of the violin so enjoy playing so again if you are you know, uh, asking for a, a tutorial i can uh, you can uh, contact me or have a comment just put your comment down below and you can subscribe for more uh, updates regarding this uh, technique violin yeah. all throughout just pour it there uh, making sure that all the part of the area inch inch by inch but no need to move your uh, left hand huh? just uh, make it make sure that it is uh, well been folded by your fingers don't, don't put it down or stabilize and the right hand will do the trick just put some friction so if it if you have a rosin that is so expensive and you crack it yes of course that is a waste of money so just gonna test the back and violin so this is a new sound new uh, brand
audio test. So, the sound is not that uh, uh, dwelled. It's quite smooth. So, the sound, so it came from uh, uh, the package. So, I think uh, if we expose it to the room air, the wood will uh, adapt to its environment. So, if you play that the cold temperature uh, the violin will shrink and if it is hot the, vi the, the violin wood will expand if you have a wooden violin